Hey, 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 Aquarius, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Aquas, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Aquarius, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're utilizing that link as there are scammers about the community and know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Aquarius, your overall energy is the Four of Swords. I just heard quiet. So you may be keeping things to yourself and just are quiet about your plans possibly. You have the Six of Wands. You have the Ace of Moons, which are cups. The Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Mm, whatever you're keeping to yourself, you're you know, replaying in your mind. Now, you feel like you're victorious over something, but you're still worried. I get worry from the Eight of Swords. Could be about this new love. Or maybe you're just worried about love in general. Will love come in? You have love coming in. You will be getting a lot of attention here. Okay, so we have Judgment. Five of Stars and the High Priestess. Yeah, see, you're keeping quiet about something. It could be a secret love or this love that you're keeping quiet. And I feel like it's due to a previous ghosting situation possibly or it could be abandonment issues. But I feel in a past love relationship, somebody could have abandoned you or left you out in the cold. There was a loss. I'm getting loss. But you're looking into that. You're looking into those feelings. You're looking into your reaction from that with the judgment card. Okay, and that may be also why this Eight of Swords is here. So with this love that's coming in, you're like, I don't want to fuck it up. I don't want, I want to make sure that it's solid before I speak it. Because I don't need any negative energy coming towards the situation. Yeah. You want a fresh start here with Journey. So let's see. What about the Six of Wands? The Star. Are you seen in the public eye? Some of you definitely could be seen in the public eye. You're getting a lot of attention. Four of Moons and Page of Swords. Yeah, there's a lot of people watching you, Aquarius. That could also be the reason why you're keeping this love a secret. Because people twist things and, and you want to deal with your shit by yourself. And so you should. There's enough voices going on in our own head. We don't need anybody else's voice added to it, right? It just adds to the confusion. Hmm. Expectation. What are you waiting for? Let's see. Maybe you're waiting. Ooh. Be careful. All right. If you're keeping this to yourself, this is bad health. Be careful. You've got to let this energy out some way. So whether you journal, go screaming on a mountaintop, you've got to let the energy out, okay? Because I, I do feel that this could fester and manifest in a health condition. So try to release this energy in some way. Writing, speaking, even speaking, you can delete it right afterwards. 
Um, or like I said, go to a mountaintop where nobody's around and just tell no one, but at least you're letting that energy out. Tell me about the Ace of Moons. The Sun. Uh -huh. This is going to make you extremely happy. It could be a Leo that's coming into your life. Now, it could be this person that's seen in the public eye, Aquarius. That's totally possible. Ace of Stars and Three of Swords. You have a fear that this person will break your heart. And it could be, if they're seen in the public eye, you could be worried about that. They're saying yes. So for some of you, that's definitely it. But there is an opportunity here uh, with this individual. There could be an age difference with mature woman here, Aquarius. I want to see how they feel about you. How do they feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? How does this person feel about Aquarius? The Emperor and the Fool. Wow. They want to take a leap of faith on you. They want something solid. They see you. They, they see you in very high regard. They, I'm getting stable and secure. They want to take a leap of faith on you. So I wouldn't question their intentions here. They have good intentions. Okay. Now other people, because we got the five of swords here, other people around you. This is why your intuition is probably telling you not to say anything. Because there may be people around you who will be jealous. Especially if this person's seen in the public eye or if you are. So tell me about the five of swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Five of Swords, what's going on here? Yeah, you have the World card. The Magician card. Exactly, they're going to mess with your manifestations. And the Two of Stars. So you're going to be deciding, should I tell people, should I not? No, no. Not until you're on solid footing with this person. Okay? I wouldn't because that would be really self-sabotaging. Yeah. So you're in your own head with the imprisonment, which is the Eight of Swords. That's why I say you've got to let this energy out. And if this person is seen in the public eye, they may even ask you not to say anything. And maybe this is why you're like, ah, oh, it's, it's, you know, you're bottling it up, but just release it and you'll feel so much better. Control the release or your body will in a way that you're not gonna you're not gonna like. So we have the Knight of Wands. That's your worry that somebody is a player and somebody's gonna leave you out in the cold. Six of Moons. You feel like this person is a soulmate, and you would be right, by the way. And nine of stars. They do see your worth. This is your worry over here. They do see your worth. They see you actually as an emperor or an empress here. You're worried that they see you, that they don't see your worth. And you're thinking nine of stars is pre-empress. So you're thinking that you're worth something a step below what they know you are. So they see you as an emperor and empress and you see yourself as the nine of stars, which is pre-empress. So you feel you're not quite there yet. They know that you are because they see you. They see your light. So don't question them. I do feel that they have good intentions here. And that they are a soulmate. Mm, this, is, this is due to inner child, uh, inner child work. So there's something about your inner child that needs to be healing. Surrounding self-worth. Surrounding trust right because yes you can say well it's because of my last relationship they cheated on me they lied but really it goes beyond that because we attract that which we are so something in your childhood is connected to this trust thing this um yeah this feeling of abandonment whatever it is and it's never what you think it is 
right? It's, it seems to be sometimes not even related, but if you do the work and you ask the right questions, why, why, but this, why, but this, until you get to the root, then, you know, you're not, there's no awareness there and this will continue. Okay. But I really would trust it. So what is your advice here, Aquarius? What's your advice? Get ready for a new journey because it's an ex it's an exciting journey from what I'm feeling. But you've just gotta you've gotta ride the wave of the excitement in the journey, Aquarius. You've got something good that's coming in. Yeah, the King of Wands, the Ten of Stars, and the Three of Wands. This is what you've been waiting for, okay? This is what you've manifested, Aquarius. So feel it. Know it. You've manifested a commitment. This may even be somebody that you marry here. There's a lot of abundance. There's a lot of happiness. Whoops. And you're concerned. Stop with the concern. Figure out why. Figure out why. Because it does no good if you keep being concerned. That's that's the problem. That's not the solution. And for every problem there's a solution. You've just got to look for it and dig for it. And it's work. But it's worth it. So let's get advice here, Aquarius. Advice for my Aquas. Muse. Seek out or act as a positive, inspiring, and helpful muse to another's creativity. And that's great advice for you because you are the humanitarian and you always feel good when you're helping somebody else out. So do that. This will get your mind off of it, off of what's going on in your head, right? All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure that you're um, clicking on that link as there are many scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever here on YouTube. Don't forget to comment. I want to hear from you guys and hit that notification bell. That way you get notified whenever I upload a video or go live. Have a great day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.